That decision ruined her life. The decision to drink and drive. It ruined five children's lives, two families. She's a young woman who's going to probably go to jail for around 25 years because she has three different counts. Think about how powerful your decisions are. Yeah, you guys all know that six months ago, Steve and I were having, were having some problems, right? Things are just a little bit off. We both were letting other things get in our way. We were. And so, and it's been so amazing since we both decided to like focus ourselves on our positive energy of our marriage. And this weekend, you know, he w- went with me and I said to him, I was like, you know, I said, I, I, I just love you so much. And I'm like, I never thought I could love you more, but I realized I can, I still can love you more. And I feel like what we went through was we went through it so we could get back to this place, you know? Instead of thinking like, I wish it didn't happen. But I mean, I'm, I actually am grateful that it happened because we are able to now even connect even more and we're putting more positive focus and energy on each other, right? And it's just been like, I'm, I feel so grateful. I'm so blessed. Now I can't even be like, oh, why did we ever let it get that way? We shouldn't have, we suck, oh my gosh, you know? No, I was like, that's not how I'm thinking of things. And in life, you are going to have seasons in everything that you do. There's going to be seasons and it's going to be like winter, spring, summer, fall, winter again, summer again, right? But those seasons go away. But it has to do with how you find things. Okay, so you, you make a decision. And then you decide to focus on things the right things, then you have to decide what you're going to do. Okay, this decision happened. Now, you know, it's a challenge. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? What action am I going to do? Listen, everyone, you being here, you being here, I'm going to show you. It's not enough. Okay, I love you. And I say this with all love and respect. It's not enough. You have to take action. Right, you have to take action. Okay, so we have the power to choose. Everybody say power, power. We have the power. We have the power to choose what we're gonna focus on. We have the power to choose what it means. And we have the power to choose what to do. It is a gift. The power of choice is probably the biggest gift you will ever receive in your life. And guess what? I want you to think, yes, you you have a power. Take a picture of this, everybody. Take a picture of this because you have the power to choose. Choose what to focus on. Choose what things mean. Choose what to do. It's so, so important in every aspect of our business and our life. All right. And understand that your entire life (laughs) has been shaped by your decisions that you make. It's not the environment. It's not circumstance. It's not the socioeconomic, right? It's not the interest rate. It's not the competition. It's not the inventory. It's our choices. And now, please understand this. I know that you all know when I talk like this, it doesn't, if you know, you have any kind of abuse or the, things like that, I don't ever mean that. I was a victim of that. And so you, you know how um, that I'm super ca- cautious of that. But you, so when I say that, please understand. But your whole life has been shaped by the decisions that you make. And right now with what's happening in the, in, in the market, it's not a bad thing. And I say this with love, but a lot of people are going to disappear. A lot of people are going to disappear right now, right? But it's not going to be us. Okay, so we've got to get better at making decisions. So how do we get better at making decisions? Number one, we have to remember the power of decision making. Anything in life can be changed by making the decision. You decide, you have the choice, you have to commit, right? You you move forward, you get momentum, and then you have a different life. Everything can change from a decision. So we have to understand the power of making a decision. So let's do that right now. Think about something, and we're going to do this later. Just think about it. I'll be writing it down later. But I want you to think about something in your life. I'll give you a great example. I was actually engaged before I met Steve. And, you know, back at that point when I, when I was dating, um, 
for a long time, I was kind of dating two people sort of back and forth. Don't judge, but it was like, it was there. My mom always said their name was Kevin and Mike. And she's like, you need a Mevin. And so I met Steve, right? So she's like, you need a Mevin. Like you keep going back and forth. And, you know, I was very honest. I'm like, I can't decide, you know, I like you both. And I did this for about three years. I was not very decisive. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I met Steve, but I was engaged to Kevin. I was engaged to Kevin because he was financially very, very stable, financially very, very stable. And my daughter, Jalen, one day, and she was little, you guys, she looked at me and she said, mom, she's like, Kevin, like always wears, yes, the white t-shirt. You're so good, Cassie. She always, he always wears white t-shirts. He's like really white, mom. And I don't mean like color white, but, and she goes, but you're like a rainbow. She goes, you're like a rainbow. And Kevin is just the white t-shirt guy. And I, my daughter, she was like, I think she was like seven or something, or six, six or seven. Maybe she was a little bit older. I don't remember. But I remember thinking, my daughter is so young and she, she sees this. What am I doing? And so I ended it. I made the decision and bam, it was done. And I'm not kidding you. I met Steve like that. Okay. Don't, 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 don't marry the white t-shirt guy. <laughs> so my point is that was a decision that decision if I would have married the the white t-shirt guy right because he was safe and financially stable I would never be where I'm at today because he didn't give me that you know just well, it wasn't his fault he wasn't the right match he didn't give me the power to be me he held me back a lot that decision completely making the decision to end it changed my life forever Think about how powerful that decision was. Think about your life. Maybe it was a relationship. Maybe it was a job. Maybe it was, you know, something. I mean, gosh, I know somebody in my inner circle, you guys, that she, um, she had, she's a, a massive influencer. She has thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers, over 700,000 followers in one Facebook group. She got a DUI about two and a half weeks ago. She was drinking and driving. And she killed somebody. She killed somebody. She has two young children. And the woman that she killed has three children. 35-year-old woman. Then she made the choice to leave the scene. The cops had to follow her, chase her down. And she said, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I hit the mailbox. It was in Idaho. That decision ruined her life. The decision to drink and drive. It ruined five children's lives, two families. She's a young woman who's going to probably go to jail for around 25 years because she has three different counts. Think about how powerful your decisions are. Now let's turn it around. Think about a, like a good decision you made, right? Think about a good decision you made. How did that decision affect your life? When you make decisions, people, that's how you, when you take action, decisions mean you're taking action. That's how your life changes dramatically. It's not from, Thinking about it, it's from taking action, from doing and making the decision, even if it's the wrong one. You've got to make decisions quickly. By if the, if, it, if the answer is so cut and dry and so perfect, that's not where the massive great stuff comes. The massive good stuff comes from making the decisions that are a little scary and you're a little unsure of it. You're not. Does it make sense? That's where the good stuff happens. That's that's how you change your life. All right. The second thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting, so I'm, it's not as easy when I sit down, but I like standing there. <laughs> okay. So think about your own life. What was a great decision you made that turned out amazing? Now think about it. If you have made a different decision and things wouldn't have turned out so good. That was me with the white t-shirt guy. I look back and I'm like, thank goodness I made that choice. Right? Good. Write it down. Good. Leaving my corporate job. Good, Melissa. Best decision ever. And that was scary. That was hard, Melissa. That was hard. Leaving your corporate job. going That's hard. Good, Laura. Doing this coaching. Opening my own company. Yes, having kids. Married the best, but having a child. Firing a family member. Oh, Cassie, yes. That is hard. Cassie, I know the story. That was very hard. <laughs> leaving a toxic job, getting sober, good. The 11 spoonfuls, good, good, good. You guys are awesome. Yes, good, good. Moving to another country. Yes, Lisa. 
Going on a second date with my husband, overcoming trauma. Yes. Childhood book. Recovery. Good, Lenny. Okay. Oh, you guys are doing so good. I'm so proud of you. All right. Now, I want you to do the opposite. And here's why I'm doing this activity with you right now. Because I want you to understand the power of decision-making. The power. And every action starts with the decision. Every action starts with a decision. So think about the opposite. What's something that you, and you don't, need to, you don't need to put it down, you can if you want to. What's a decision that you made that wasn't that, that great? Right? And what was, you know, and if you would have made a different decision, would things have turned out better? And the reason why I want you to do this, this activity right now is because I want you to understand, uh, Lars, not taking immediate action. Perfect. Marry my ex-husband. Yes, we've all done that too. Two marriages, two divorces. Yes, getting divorced and dating my ex fiance. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are funny. You probably did that because you, it was comfortable, right? It was Diana, it was comfortable. We all we do things that are comfortable. So the the the, the idea here is that you understand the power of decisions, the power and, and every action starts with the decision. So we how do we also get good at decision making? We have to make decisions more often. Remember, money like speed. Action takers are money makers. If you're trying to lose to know everything about everything, you are going to miss the opportunity. Okay. Even if you make the wrong decisions, that's okay because you're going to have the more decisions that you make, you're going to have more opportunities to make right ones. People are afraid of their ego. They're afraid of looking bad. They're afraid of making a mistake. Who cares? If you're not making enough mistakes, you're not making enough, you're not taking enough action. Super, super important. And the third thing, and probably the most important, is you've got to learn from your decisions. You've got to learn from your decisions. Now we know, right? Like learning from our decisions is so, so important because we know we got to make them. We got to make them more often. We're going to make wrong ones, right? We're going to choose how we focus on things. What are we choosing to see? But we've got to make sure that we are learning from our decisions. Right? Because here's the deal. When you make decisions, even if they're wrong, as long as you learn from them, it gives you the power to adjust and modify and change. And remember, when you make a decision, you don't change the decision. You adjust your actions. You adjust how you're getting there. But when you make a decision, that's like it's in the sand, it's nailed, I'm doing this. Okay? So I want you to remember, <laughs> Aristotle says, say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. It's that saying, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Right? So, so true. Do you know that in most cases, the biggest regrets that people have are not taking action and changing something when they still have the ability to. I'm going to repeat that. The biggest regrets in life are not making a change when you want to, when you still have the ability to. You all have the ability. Danielle has the ability. Veronica has the ability. Nancy, all of you. Jen Barnes, all of you have the ability. Carrie, you have the ability to do and change and be whatever it is that you want to be. It's not the market. It's not the interest rates. It's not the inventory. It's not anything. It's you and your actions. You decide what you're going to do, what you're going to focus on, what your outcome is going to be. And again, I know that I do so much of this mindset stuff on here. And here's why. Everything you need in your program. You've got five years. You've got 20 years, 21 years of my experience, 10 years of digital marketing experience. You've got it all there, guys, gals, people. You have it all there but I got to keep getting you motivated. Remember the change your life study. People won't even change with death on the line. They need the coaching, the accountability, and the support to get you there. Okay. You got to keep showing up, show up for yourself, show up for your family, do for yourself, do for your family, create the wealth, create the abundance in every single area of your life. You deserve it. Because remember, you are the only one responsible for creating the life that you deserve and you deserve it. So do it.
There's no one else. Right? So learn from your decisions. And when things aren't working, that's okay. Stay committed to your decision, but just modify and adjust and change in your approach. That's it. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.